I grew up in the country, and it was dirt roads and a lot of grass. So after it would rain, then the dust would settle, and all the little fine sand would come to the top on the ground. And I'd go out and sit down and pick up a stick and draw in that dirt. You know, and then from there, I, I was always drawing something and building something. I think that's where I got headed in the direction of three-dimensional work, that I just love to build stuff. So art's really been a part of my life, all my life. The steer was suggested by my son-in-law, the dog that I'm um, starting is actually his champion dog that's at the National Field Trials right now. The little dancing girl here is my granddaughter. First thing I do is put it down on paper or get a little research material that I'm going to use. And you want to be as original as you can with your ideas. And of course, you know, we all see things that tweak our interest and help us with creating a piece. Then from that, you make your aluminum wire armature, put your clay on it. And once that is done, my part is pretty much over. But during the process, it unfolds. And all of a sudden, you turn it into a marketable piece of work, something that you really are proud that you've done. And there are pieces that I get much more involved with and excited about than others, simply because they're a little more challenging. Everybody grows in their application, their learning process, their vocation, or whatever. But that's the part I enjoy so much is the learning part and the growth that can occur if you just really like what you're doing. <laughs>